If you could give us one bit of advice that we can carry with us into our wedding day, what would that be? Uh, so for me, I think the thing that I like to tell our couples the most is instead of looking at every little aspect of your wedding, try and focus on the three that mean the most to you. Uh, whether or not that's photography, it could be like your cake, your flowers. For us, music was really yeah, important. Music was a huge deal. Um, but yeah, but to focus on those three things and spend the bulk of your resources, so like your time and your budget, on those things, because um, they're going to have the biggest impact on your day and mean the most to you. Yeah. And for me, too, I, I would say that, you know, wedding days can be pretty stressful or hectic, despite your best efforts. Um, and so I think it's really important to remember to take some time on the day and just really be there in the moment. Don't forget to actually enjoy your wedding and, and be happy that you're there. It's, uh, it can go by very quickly, so I think it's important to, to just take some time and really appreciate it. All right, question two. What is the most unique wedding scenario you've found yourself in? Uh, so for me, that has to be, um, I was at bride prep during one of our weddings and we were just about at the time when bride would get in her wedding dress and mom was doing everything up and she went to go do it the final button and it just would not stay closed. Um, she tried so many things. She tried sewing in a little herself. She tried some safety pins. Nothing was working. Um, and then eventually got to a point where I knew things were going to go downhill really quickly. It was almost the last straw. Yeah. Of the day. So, so I put down my camera. I knew I had some shots of them, of them trying to get it themselves. And, uh, I stepped in and, and took a couple things out of my emergency bag, got her sewn up with a hook and clasp and some white thread. And it wasn't the prettiest job, but you couldn't tell, you couldn't see it. We covered it up nicely and she was in that dress for the rest of the day. Um, there wasn't really a way out of it. It was a really tight dress. So by the time reception came and she had to use the washroom, we had to actually cut her out of her dress um, and then get her get her hooked back into it again. Um, it was stressful at the beginning, at the prep part, but then by the time we got to the reception, she was she found it hilarious. She was going around showing yeah. showing everybody the hook and clasp that we had sewn her in. It was really funny. Yeah photos were great it didn't have really any impact on no on you couldn't tell at all that. so it was it was just a big thing for her to have that peace of mind again uh for me it was a, it was a little bit different uh <laughs> leading up to the wedding a few hours before the wedding um i actually broke my right hand uh just on the last bone of my right hand and uh we didn't really have time to do anything else so it was just bandage it up and go so it was definitely a, a mind over matter day um but I did, the first thing I, I had to do is I had to go to the groom's um, house for, for prep. And as soon as I got there, the groom's dad was there and I just went over to say hi. And first thing he did was reach out, shake my hand. And without thinking, I took it and <laughs> just about collapsed. But um, after that, I just, you know, made sure to be careful with my hand. The rest of the day honestly went fine. It was not ideal, but uh, you know, it, it, it worked out in the end didn't really have any impact on the photos. Yeah, you can't tell at all. So, so in the end, it was it was good and definitely a, a unique situation. <laughs> what is your favorite image to capture and why? Um, so I think for me, my favorite image is to capture, despite the fact that if you go to our site, um, you'll see like a lot of flat lays and details and so and many, so many, yeah, so many veil tosses and swoops. I love those. Uh, but my absolute favorites are everything that happens like in between all those key moments, um, like the little glances that the couple may give each other when they think we're not looking anymore, or the little touches that mom and dad might have between each other, um, laughter, things like that to me really tie all those big moments together and help tell like a real story rather than just a set of pretty pretty pictures. And for me it's it's very similar as a second photographer. That's a lot of the things I'm looking for. Uh, and is, is those little moments, the the times when people are, are just involved but not paying attention to the camera and you get to see some real honest emotion. Uh, and it really helps add to the, the story of the day, like you said, just just talking about the other people who were there. It's, it's, you know, obviously it's about the bride and groom, but you know, there's a lot of friends and family and people who matter. And it's it's really 
it's really nice to have that whole thing come together and seeing everybody enjoying it together. So. I like that. <laughs>